So right now, Tori is counting the number of shelves on here, uh, on this bar, to, to, to divide them by three, because he's already got one shelf. There's four shelves. So Alright, so I finally got everything off of the TV here. There's my speakers. There's my other speaker there. And as you can see, I have every single wire, every single controller, every single console out here. And now the daunting task begins of putting them all back on the shelf here. So, yeah, let's just do that. What the new shelving look like? I did a lot of it off camera. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, starting at the top here, N64. It does work. I can turn it on. Um, I might as well show that all these consoles work. So, I might as well turn on the TV here. Um, uh, there's, um, my 2DS. If I want to record it, I have this little recording station over here with a bunch of books that I put a camera on top of. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Nintendo Entertainment System Clone System. Um, maybe I'll go into more depth about that in a future video. GameCube. I wonder if I actually have anything in here. Nope. GameCube. Also, the high-speed port for the GameCube because is, is over here because... I actually have, I don't think I'll get it, but it's a Game Boy player underneath the GameCube, as you can see there, Game Boy player, underneath Game Boy, underneath the GameCube, <laughs> AV switcher, which is standard analog video equipment there, as well as some PS4 controllers, that, just some random PS4 controller that somebody thought, I apparently thought I had a PS4. I'll use them eventually for something like Apple Arcade or something. Wee! Now for the Wii. I have, um, down here, the cable for the sensor bar is running from the Wii all the way across the floor, all the way up, and to the sensor bar over there. So yeah, there's the sensor bar there. PS2, again, I got the controller, memory cards, I really should check if anything's in there. Analog video converter, which uh, I don't have an AV capture card. I used to, but then it broke. So I got this uh, Elgato HD60S. Um, so yeah, I just have that to um, convert. 
YPB PR case to my back there for the Wii, so it can be better quality. If I want to get a uh, switcher, I can actually put the PS2 on there too, but for now it's just on standard AV. Alexa, kind of an outlier, it's it's not a console, uh, I, I just have it there for stuff, for playing music and stuff. And then finally down there we got the Wii Power Brick, as well as all this junk down there. But up here it actually looks pretty nice, because I have all these twisty ties that keep everything together. Um, oh, and one thing I for uh, forgot to mention is uh, that... Everything, once I uh, hook everything up to the um, correct port, I can actually, if, once I like swatch this, I can actually play the system without any other like things I have to do. So if I turn on the GameCube here, it's on port one. There it is. It's kind of finicky sometimes. And of course, I can swap to other systems if I want, like I could do, uh, if I wanted N64, just pop in, like, Zelda here, and then it should work. So if I just swap to port 4, and just wait a couple seconds. Maybe it's being finicky, but um, overall, this thing I can I can play anything I want to, uh, whenever I want to. If if I just like connect these, even the Wii, I could just um unplug this cable here, pop it in to the. It's hard to do with one hand, the converters. And then I pop on the Wii here. And then in a second. It should turn on. Do I have it? No. It, it does require power. And so sometimes I have to replug in the power cords to all this stuff. Whoops. So now in a second here. Yep. There it is, price A to continue. So, uh, this entire setup here is reliant upon the the new wire shelving that I got because before I had them on here. Now now I can store more games on here. See I have weed down here. I have some room to grow with some random handheld games. But I have room to grow because I added extended up here. And if I really need to, I can extend up here. I can move my Wii accessories. So I uh, technically have three shelves worth of space to put my games. And if I, if I need to, I can get rid of some of these books. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Just a, a short update on these new Chrome Wire shelves. Um, so, yep. See you later. Bye. Goodbye, everybody!